Hey there, Albert from Schaefer Chevrolet in Pinconning, Michigan. Going to do a walk around on our 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. Uh, Going to walk around the inside, uh, you know, see what the body looks like, look for scratches, rust. Also going to look on the inside, uh, look at a few features, and just a general walk around on the vehicle. Uh, this Jeep Grand Cherokee has a 3.7 V6 engine. It's going to get you about 17 city, 21 uh, highway when it comes to MPG. Um, also four-wheel drive, sitting at about 141,000 miles. So as I said, we're going to walk up, uh, get close into the exterior, um, you know, see what it looks like, see if we have any major damage uh, like that. Um, look at the tires, and again, go on on the inside and go from there. So starting up the front bumper, uh, looking at the headlights, the bumper, you not seeing any rust, a few bugs it looks like. And that looks to be in good condition. Checking out the hood. Don't see any major rust, scratches. Also like to look here at the windshield. Look for any cracks, chips. Um, anything starting to develop in the windshield. See in there on the VIN number as well. Alright, coming down here to the front driver's side. Looking at the tires, tires are a lot of tread on them, really nice tires. Also take a, take a peek here in the, on the wheel well. Alright, now moving on down the body. No cracks in the side mirror. Again, no scratches, rust, anything like that that I'm seeing. Window seems to be intact. And going back down to the body. Not seeing any rust. Especially with 141,000 miles. Looks to be extremely clean. Alright, going to zoom in on this, uh, the rear driver's side. Again, tires in great condition. Look at all that tread. Going in on the wheel well. Get a good look at that. And I'm going to go to the back here. See up top here, looks like you have a nice uh, luggage rack. And down, windows intact with a rear windshield wiper. Again, the 4x4 Laredo. Uh, really nice model for the uh, Grand Cherokees. Down here, it does look like you have a hitch set up for towing. And when we get on the inside, I'll show you there is a manual mode for switching the gears. It's going to help you control how your engine's going to going to react especially when you're hauling a load going down the road or just going through uh, you know a little off-road terrain or up and down some hills moving on to the passenger side and looking at the windows exterior looking for any rust nothing jumping out so far and looking at the tires some nice tread on there still take a peek in the wheel well And you zoom in here on the buyer's guide that is in all the vehicles here. Um, kind of through the window there you'll see the buyer's guide, the information for the vehicle. It is, looks like it's a little blurry there. Um, it is considered an as-is vehicle and no warranty is implied on the vehicle. All right, nothing on the body. Mirror seems to be intact. I'm going to check out this front wheel again. Again, great tread. Check out the wheel well. Alright, as I said on the outside, uh, it's been in really nice condition, you know. Considering the age and the mileage, you'd figure there'd be, uh, there'd be a little bit more rust in there. Check up here as well. As rust likes to develop up there as well, but I'm not seeing any. So, uh, now we're wrapping up the outside. Let's head on in and see what it has to offer. Key out. All right. So right here on the first door, obviously you got your automatic windows and your mirrors. All right. And on the seat, you can see the condition of the seats. Uh, 65th anniversary. You jump in here on the steering wheel, you're going to see your cruise control settings, resume, excel, set, cancel, 
Over here is going to be your blinker and light. Control your lights. We'll take a look here at the uh, instrument cluster. I'm going to turn it on for you. See, it does have 141,166 miles. Note there is no uh, there's no check engine lights, no tire pressure monitor lights, nothing like that showing. Let me close the door again. Down here you're going to have a nice little storage space along with the lever to adjust your steering wheel. You have your four-way button. Come on over here to the center. You have your radio, CD player along with your aux cord uh, to plug in an iPod, MP3, anything like that. Um, the information center so you can go through and look through the information on your vehicle. Uh, of course your climate control, AC, traction control, and uh, a few charging cords for you. Alright then down here as I was saying when it comes to towing, you know you have your, uh, your park, reverse, neutral, drive, then down here you'll see the plus and minus. That's so you can switch through the gears by tapping one way or another. Uh, it's going to help you control how the engine's working, um, how you're moving through the gears as you're uh, as you're driving. See there again, fourth, third, second, first. Then of course to uh, get back to drive, you're just going to hold it to the plus side. All right, so uh, a few storage spaces here for any coins, pens, anything you like to carry. A few cup holders, and an emergency brake. Then your armrest with a little bit more storage space in there. Again, looking, uh, you know, checking out the condition of the inside, you do have a lock, unlock, and window control button on that side. And of course, a glove box over here with your manual. <clears throat> Gonna make sure all the windows work here as well. Perfect. All right. So let's see. I'm going to step out here. <clears throat> oh, did forget to mention this. This looks like you have power seats here. So you can move the seat to any position you'd like without having to throw your, uh, throw your weight around and mess with the lever and whatnot. So that's kind of nice. So you can get nice and comfortable. Set up the Jeep however you'd like to drive it. I'm going to take a look here in the second row, you know, just to check the interior, see what you're looking at for a second row. Does look like there is a cup holder down here. It's kind of nice. There are your passengers in the back. And of course a few vents as well to keep them comfortable. And your gas cap, no rust or anything like that again as well. Now coming to the rear, uh, the customer I'm making this video for asked that I take a look back here. I'm going to make sure that it is functioning properly. Opens right up. Back here it does look like there was something spilled, like a hard plaster or something that our um, great recon team was unable to uh, get out. But then again, here, there's some storage space under there as well. Okay. Again, looking at the back uh, storage area for the vehicle. Looking up here, this is always, actually, always a very popular place for us. I'm really, again, not seeing any. Let's see what I focus there. All right. We're gonna take one last look. All right, and that has been a walk around on our 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, Laredo, again by Albert here at Schaefer Chevrolet. Uh, feel free to give us a call at 989-879-2211. Uh, thanks for watching.